are beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. So today I am off to go do my first Jiu Jitsu class in over a year. So do you, I stopped doing Jiu Jitsu because lockdown happened in 20, the start of 2020. So I couldn't do Jiu Jitsu for about three and a half months because of lockdown. And then as soon as lockdown opened, I got pregnant. So obviously I couldn't do Jiu Jitsu and now I am about 10 weeks postpartum. My little guy is just over two months old. And I'm gonna go do my first Gi Jiu Jitsu class. I'm nervous because I am so weak compared to what I used to be. I don't know how the baby's gonna handle it. I hope he's gonna be good. I've got the pram, so hopefully he enjoys watching it and he um, actually has fun being there and doesn't end up crying. Right now he's asleep, but I think he's gonna wake up as soon as we get there. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm pretty excited for my first class. I'm going to try and do once or twice a week just to get back into it and then see how my body goes. But um, I think tomorrow I'm going to be feeling it. I don't even think I remember how to do jiu-jitsu or what jiu-jitsu is. So I'm so nervous for my first go. So let's see how this goes. I'm heavy. I'm not flexible anymore. I've got no core strength. I'm unfit. It's just like being a beginner all over again. I really wanted to do a no-gi class because I didn't want to wear my papa belt. So we'll see how this goes for me. Wish me luck. So I did my first jiu-jitsu class, finally postpartum. That was 10 weeks. Now, this was my first time not doing jiu-jitsu for about over a year in, I calculated like over nine years of doing jiu-jitsu now. I started when I was 20 and I'm now 29. So it's actually an easy way to keep track, but I did take almost a year off at one point where I just did basic drilling and things like that with some friends on mats. Um, when I injured my neck when I was still, I think early blue bell, still a white bell. <laughs> So near the start of my jiu-jitsu time whereas uh, this was the longest so i had the three and a half months of lockdown and then the nine weeks of postpartum and nine weeks of being pregnant and then the two months postpartum and then back to training with this little guy so it was such an interesting experience so we got there and he was wide awake i put him in the pram to watch the jiu-jitsu class he actually did pretty good watching i was so surprised he was watching all the movement i actually made sure i wore a black gi because i was hoping like the contrast or the colors with everyone in white and black, you might find it was kind of interesting to like stare at. So he actually watched it really well. He got a little bit impatient and hungry, but he was pretty good, um, most of him. But anyway, so when I got on the mat, there's so many new people there that I haven't seen before. It's so crazy how cra how much a club can change in just a year. Like it's just full of girls now, which didn't happen like years ago. I did years of Jiu Jitsu where I was the only female and it was rare to come across another girl on the mats. So it's so cool having like, so many females on the mat. So the coach was showing a technique and usually when you've done Jiu Jitsu for a while, you see the technique and you can piece all together. It's like, okay, I understand this, 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 and you just get it and you can pretty much nail it straight away. You might take a while to nail it in a roll, might take a while to remember the technique, but you can drill it pretty instantly without having many mistakes. So I was watching technique and I get it and I was like trying to remember it, which was like, new for me and then usually I'm really good at techniques and good at the drilling part I just forget to do them in roles and I seem to just go to what I'm good at most of the time so I went in the mat and they we're doing the technique and I'm with a white belt girl who's been doing it for like six months and I'm constantly like wait what was next what was this and I was so rusty I kept forgetting things I like had barely any core to sit up and to move properly like it was hard but then after about 20 minutes of drilling it started to click I started to remember things I was like okay I'm getting this now like your body just started to remember but the first 20 minutes I was like I don't even know what this is anymore it was so hard and then my body just wasn't used to things so then we also did like a lockdown technique and my shins were in so much pain just not used to like the pressure of doing like that position so my body was just not used to having other people like pushing it and punching it and like throwing it and it's just quite a painful experience so the next day I did pull up quite sore I was feeling it like my neck is stiff again from drilling chokes. I can feel some bruises. I completely forgot, well, I didn't forget my mouth guard. I lost my mouth guard. So I have no idea where it is. So I had to buy a brand new mouth guard that I'm gonna mold up. Um, so I got hit in the tooth, which I was so scared about. I got a fat lip, I was bleeding. Like it was a rough first session back, but he did so well. So I'm so proud of him. So with the rolling, I didn't roll too bad. Uh, better than I expected I was going to, but I did go to what I know I'm good at. I didn't I didn't try anything new, I didn't test things, I didn't go into positions I wasn't comfortable with. I literally have my technique, which is I'm pretty good at passing guard, that I don't like to brag, but that's something that I'm good at. So I like, was just 
staying on top because my, I know my core is still weak. So it's mainly just passing guard, getting to side control, getting to mount, and getting to armbar. So it was really annoying that a couple of times I got to an armbar position, I'm back into the armbar, back into the choke, and a little man decides, this is the time, do you start crying? So I had to stop and I had to let go of whatever I was about to do, or the submission was about to complete, and go and sort him out. So that was a little bit, um, a little bit annoying. Like I was finally, I was like, yes, first session back, I'm gonna get some submissions, and no, I didn't. So that was a bit unfortunate. But I was quite careful who I rolled with. Like there's a lot of new people there. I rolled for a couple like white belt guys, but they weren't massive. So I was cautious not to roll with anyone I wasn't super uncomfortable with. Comfortable with like the the worst thing the last thing I want to do is hurt myself and one not be able to take care of him and hurt myself and not be able to get back on the mat anytime soon. So I've now done two classes and I'm going I'm hopefully going to train tomorrow and my goal is to do two classes a week. So but when I um before I got pregnant I was so ill for a couple weeks I had no idea I was pregnant. I actually was told I can't get pregnant. There's a whole nother story on that one. And I ended up buying a 10, I canceled my weekly membership and bought a 10 session pack and then I found out I was pregnant. So I've got 10 sessions to use up and my goal is by the time I finish my 10 sessions, I'm back to doing regular weekly sessions. So that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to start filming my Jiu Jitsu journey again, more of my techniques. Hey, more of my techniques. We're going to watch this little man grow up on the mat, which is going to be so exciting. See his little future, my little half Brazilian boy. He's gonna be, he's got jujitsu in his blood. So, yeah, so I'll keep you guys with my journey. Yeah. Oh. Baby! I'll keep you guys posted on my journey. Oh, this little man is loving this. And uh, in the meantime, keep being strong, happy, and healthy. Baby!